Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to run a Node.js API project into Amazon App Runner service. What is App Runner service? What is the difference between App Runner service and ECS Fargate? How to run a containerized application into App Runner? What are the advantages we get? running into app runner than a fargate so all of that we are going to cover in this tutorial it is going to be very very interesting and very informative tutorial so watch this video till end it is going to be very very exciting friends here is the agenda of this tutorial today i'll give you introduction of aws app runner then i also give you introduction of what is our node.js project i'm talking about i'll show you architecture diagram which will help you understanding what exactly we are trying to do then we'll create a node.js api project very simple api project i'll give you the reference of my github repository you can also use the same code right then i'll show you how to set up aws app runner service and then how to run our node.js api project into app runner how to test our node.js api running into an app runner right and then finally once we are done with the testing we will stop all the services and resources right we'll clean up all the services and resources that we are using and finally i'll summarize what we learn in this tutorial today okay friend so stay with me and watch this tutorial till end in 10 minutes you will be able to run containerized application or your node.js application or java application into aws app runner service this is a very new service aws has launched two years ago Many people have a doubt when to use App Runner and when to use ECS Fargate service. We'll talk about all such scenarios when to use App Runner and when to use ECS Fargate. So watch this video till end. Right, friends? Okay, friends. So here is a very simple architecture of our tutorial today. What we are trying to achieve. We have Node.js application, which is container application that we want to run in AWS App Runner and then we'll be hitting those APIs and see if we are getting response. Very easy to deploy, very easy to understand, very easy to run. I'll show you how can you use App Runner, when can you use App Runner, how to set up, how to configure App Runner for your application. So all of that I'm going to cover. I'll give you a demo of the application. We'll be able to deploy our application in App Runner. You will be able to run your application into App Runner service in AWS. Right, friends friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i'm not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you Okay friends, so now let me show you my Node.js API project, very simple project. Okay, so this is my Node.js API project where I have a package.json and I have only three dependencies, body parser, CORS and Express. Express to support HTTP support, microservice support, to create routes, so all those capabilities will come from Express. Body parser, it's kind of a middleware that helps express to convert the body of post request for the processing so these three dependencies we have added very simple no fancy item right let me show you my uh, server.js right this is our main javascript file where i'm importing the body parser cors and express and defining a port 8080 so that i can run my server on 8080 port taking an instance of app from express and in that app i am setting the body parser and CORS. Finally, I'm defining two routes. One is slash, it is printing welcome to Node.js API project. And second is slash hello to return the hello world string, right? Finally, I'm starting my server here, app.listen on the port, that port is defined above and printing the message in the log on the console is server is up and running on port. Very simple, two minutes application let me show you let me run this application into my local and see if that is working fine 
next step is we'll upload this code to a github repository so that we can use it in our cloud let me do that so this is my directory where i have a code let me open a command prompt and i'll say node server.js okay so it will start the server yes so server is started ADAD, right and that means the application is working fine let me hit that in my local and see if it is working fine http localhost 8080 slash yes so it is printing that message welcome to node.js api project let me touch another endpoint quickly hello so yes i'm getting the response hello that means both of my endpoints are working fine okay friends so here is my github repository and the project that i have uploaded right so this is my repository code one digest that we will use in our app runner service as well and this is a project node.js hello world api project i have created this node.js project and uploaded now you can download this code you can clone this repository and start using it you can change the code as per your requirement right and use it start using it in fact you can use the same project if you want to try app runner service you can deploy the same project and run it and see you need not to create a new project okay friends so you can subscribe to my repository you can use the code there are lot many other projects are available in code one digest repository okay friends so now let's start and set up the app runner to deploy our node.js api project okay so open a browser and search for aws console login you will see a first result click on that now you have to log in into the console okay so login into the console first so i'm logging with my id that is code one digest you have to log in with your credentials if you don't have an account you can create a free account okay you can use the services for free for your testing for your development and then you can destroy the resources so i have logged in as a code one digest and now if you see as i have used the services so it is already listing it up but you can search the service that is app runner right so you will see this service showing up aws app runner uh, just click on this it will take us to the app runner home page this is our aws app runner home page and from this page we will be creating a new service so there are two ways we can deploy our application into app runner either we should have a container image or we can give a reference of our github repository so in this tutorial i'll be giving a reference of my github repository that means this is my github repository and this is a project this is my github repository code one digest and this is a project node.js hello world api project right and it is a node.js project server.js this is my main file this package.json right so now what we'll do is let me click on this create an app runner service just follow the steps with me you will be able to deploy your application in 10 minutes okay here we have to select the source repository type so container registry that means elastic container registry if you have an image over there or source code repository so we'll say source code repository because we are using github as a source as soon as you select the source code repository then this option appearing which particular source code repository you have to select so there are options bitbucket or github we have to select github and then github connection i am already having a connection because i am already using my github repository to deploy the project so i have already created a connection if you don't have create a connection very simple step you just have to give the credentials and it will ask permission to authorize the aws to access your github repository i am using the existing connection you can create a new connection in easy steps and which repository have to use so all my repositories are listed here do you see all my github repositories are there now i have to use this repository so let me take this name of my repository and paste it here it will search yeah this is my repository and the branch which particular branch so i am deploying a master branch because my latest code is in the master you can choose which particular branch you want to deploy then source directory let it be as is we need not to give a source directory because this is a npm project this is a node project this is not a java project where we have to give a reference of source directory so let it be default now for deployment setting we have to say automatic as we don't want to run any command through cli so do it automatic and then say next so just click on the next button at the bottom right bottom corner 
so now on the second page it will ask you for some build configuration okay so what is the command to build your application and what is the command to run your application so that information will give okay so you can give those commands here or you can define that in configuration file but we'll say that configure all setting here okay now select the runtime environment it is java application or node.js application or php or python or ruby you can select the runtime applications i'll say node 16 is my runtime environment and build command so i'll say npm install as soon as this command will get fired npm will download all the dependencies defined in my package.json right the way we do in our local npm install it will download all the dependencies all the module required to build and run the project so this is a command to build the application and here we have to give the command to start our application so that means node server.js as our server.js is our application file this is our main javascript file and this is a command node server.js to run the application and the port we are running the application on 80 port click on next button and let's go to the next page give a name of a service here give a meaningful name so that you remember what application is running in this service in this app runner service i'll give the same name of my project that is node.js hello world api project now you can decide the your configuration one cpu and memory as per your requirement i feel this default configuration is more than enough in fact i would say for just very basic hello world application 0.5 cpu is okay and 1 gb ram is more than enough right if you have any environment variable required to run your application that you can define this im policy for the access and permissions if any other resource wants to access this application let's say some other application calling this api so you can define you can use this im configuration in your other application to access this application we don't have such a requirement as of now i am keeping it simple auto scaling so you can decide that when and how you want to auto scale it so you see this concurrency this is very important concept okay what it means by default concurrency is defined 100 requests that means this application when it is running into a app runner it can handle 100 requests at the same time simultaneously that is how app runner works okay so it can handle 100 requests at the same time this is a concurrency level and let's say we got more requests than 100 requests then it will automatically create another instance for us and how many instances of app runner can be auto scaled it will go up to 25 instances that means 25 into 100 that many requests we can handle at the same time so if we are getting 100 plus requests at the same time then only a new instance will get initialized this is for auto configuration so this is a default configuration but we can define or we can create our own configuration by clicking on this button as for this demo application 100 requests i think this is more than enough but if you have a requirement where you are getting very high load conditions you have application where you are getting thousands of requests every moment right that time you should create your own configuration there is no limit for this concurrency you, it is unlimited you can define 1000 requests 2000 requests 500 requests at the same time how much how one instance of your app runner should handle how many requests that you define you can divide 100 500 and then you say okay if it is going beyond that number then initialize another instance so i am keeping it default i am not changing it the so security i am keeping it default and if you want to activate the firewall then you can enable that button you can enable the firewall to avoid any ddos attack networking as we want to make this api public so that we can hit it through internet to make it public if you make it private then only within a vpc you can access this service right so i'm making it public and outgoing traffic also public so that i'm allowing the service to send the response back to the user okay observability for monitoring you can use this you can add tags so you can easily search this based on certain tags now say next so now we are on the review page you can see what all configuration we have defined it is showing the github repository name and branch build configuration that is what is the runtime environment what is a port what is a build command and what is a start command all of that is showing up and 
configure service that is the hardware virtual cpu and memory that we have selected and then auto scaling so it's a default auto scaling configuration that we have selected you can define your own so just review all the settings here and click on the create and deploy button so it will take few minutes for this service to deploy and run let us do that i am clicking on the create and deploy button at the right bottom corner you can also do that so it says now service is starting up it says deploying to the node.js hello world api project this can take several minutes right scroll down to little bottom so you have app runner event log so it will say what all steps it's doing it, it's like a workflow it will connect to the repository first then it will download the code then it will build the code and then it will start the application so you can just click on this refresh so you will see what exactly it is doing right so it is saying repo type source repository this so it's trying to connect and then it will download the code from there so we will see all those events are happening so this is your app runner event log if you scroll down further then you will see the application log window is also showing up but it's nothing right now because right now the application is not up and running we'll see that later after some time and you see here the status is in progress that the service status is in progress we'll wait for a few minutes and see you may have to keep refreshing it to see the status right so now starting the source code build it says it's building your source code created pipeline for automatic deployment then pull the source code validate the configuration file and now building the source right so it is building the source as soon as the source is built then it will start the application through our server start command Friends, it's very simple and easy to run our containerized application in App Runner compared to ECS Fargate, where we have to do a lot of configuration in ECS Fargate. So there is a very good study when to use ECS Fargate and when to use App Runner. I have also done some research in which scenario we should use Fargate and in which scenario we should use App Runner. There is one short video I have created. You can go and watch the short video where i am comparing the lambda with app runner and fargate this is very good tutorial will give you a glimpse of all three compute services which one to use in which particular scenario to use app runner in fargate so go and watch that video just to summarize we should use app runner for medium to low kind of traffic where we have a lot of ideal time you have less or medium scale traffic then go for app runner it will be cost effective but when you have high traffic high load application when you are getting thousands of requests every minute that means your server will be keep running there is no ideal time then in that case prefer to go for ecs fargate it will be cost effective App runner is it is easy to deploy easy to configure easy to run easy to maintain it is a fully managed container service you need not to manage any container it is auto scaled based on your configuration it is auto scaling automatically it, if you are getting more than 100 concurrent requests then it will automatically create another instance of app runner right let's refresh this and see what happened successfully build the source code then provisioning the instance deploying for publicly access okay then performing a health check it is checking the health check health check is successful now routing traffic to the application that means it is, it is ready to take the request now health check is successful routing traffic to the application okay health check is ready successfully routed the incoming traffic so routing is created it says deployment is complete the service is ready now we will refresh and see if there is any application log like so you see this application log is there open that that says server is up and running at port 8080. So this is our default domain. If we hit this URL, it will hit the API. It will open our service. Let us do that. So it says welcome to node API project. The way we have run in local now it's running on AWS app runner instance, right? There is another endpoint that is hello. Let's see what happens. So we are getting the response. We getting the response for our API. That means our Node.js API is successfully deployed in App Runner. Likewise, you may have other application, service-based application, or you may have microservices that you want to deploy. You can do that, right? You can run those API in App Runner easily. It is very simple and very easy to deploy.
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any query, please post your query into a comment section. I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Don't forget to give your feedback. The feedback is very important. If you have any query, post it in the comment section. I'll definitely reply. Right? What do you think about this service? Whether this is better than ECS Fargate? Have you used App Runner already into any of the project? Which one is better for the production environment? Share your views. Give the answer in the comment section. I would like to know your opinion on this service. To understand the difference between Lambda service, App Runner, and Fargate service, go and watch this short tutorial that I have created. I am comparing these three services based on many different parameters like performance, cost, and configuration, and, and many more things, right? So go and watch this video. It's just a one minute video that will give you a glimpse of what is Lambda, what is App Runner, what is Fargate, and when to use the services. This one minute short video will tell you in which particular scenario Fargate is better or App Runner is better or I should go with a Lambda. This one minute short will help you in understanding the differences between the services and which one is ideal for a scenario what you're looking for. Okay friends, so go and watch this video. I will share the URL of this video in the description section of this video as well. You can refer it there or you can search for this in my Code One Digest channel. Okay friends, so now as we have already seen that we are able to deploy the service and it's successfully running, okay? It is working fine and our application is working fine, right? As we have successfully deployed the application and it is running and we are able to hit the service, it's always a good practice to release the resources once you are done with your testing. Otherwise, it will keep running and it will keep charging on your AWS account. So I'm going to show you how to destroy the service, how to delete the service. This is your app runner homepage and it listing now. So it is listing what all services are there. Earlier it was not showing up because it was not running. So it will list what all services are running. This is your app runner homepage. Go to this service because this is a service which I'm running. And then on the top right corner, you will see action. In action, you will have pause and delete option. I'll be clicking on delete option to delete this service. Just do that. It will ask to type delete and say delete, right? So now it will delete and it will destroy all the resources. It will release all the resources. Remember friends, App Runner is also serverless service like a Fargate. Serverless service offers auto scaling. We use this service because we need not to manage the hardware. It is AWS responsibility to manage the hardware to scale up, scale down and upgrade the infrastructure. We need not to worry about infra. Okay friends, so now you see the service is deleted. Now I don't have any service. I just go to App Runner homepage and I, I don't have any service running. So that means we have successfully cleaned the services. We have successfully deleted the service and released all the resources. If you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel to grow Corbin Digest family. Do share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very important video for them. I have also created a complete playlist on cloud and container tutorials. Lot of videos are available in this playlist for cloud related services, setting up ECS cluster, EC2 instance or app runner. I'll be showing in, in all this video how to create Docker image, how to deploy Docker image, how to deploy databases into cloud services. So there are many more videos are available on this list. You go and watch, use these videos, use this knowledge for learning purpose. It is available free. You can watch this video on your mobile in ample time, during your travel time, during your free time. Just watch this video. It will give you an idea how to set up the services in cloud and you will become the cloud master. Very simple to learn, very easy to learn. Watch this video. There are a lot of videos available in this list, right? I have created so many videos on cloud and container technology. These are very useful knowledge that I want to share with all of you, right? Go and watch this playlist. It has hundreds of videos, ECS cluster using Fargate, serverless architecture, app runner, and so on. So go and watch this playlist, bookmark this playlist. Just watch one video every day will help you in building your cloud knowledge, AWS knowledge.
okay friends so now let me summarize what we learn in this tutorial today i gave you introduction of aws app runner service and my node.js project i shown you the agenda what we want to do in this tutorial what we are trying to do in this tutorial then i explain you the project through architecture what exactly we are trying to deploy what we are trying to run into app runner then i shown you how to create a node.js api project in 10 minutes then finally we have uploaded the code into a github repository i have also shown you my github repository so that you can use it for your project you can change the code you can deploy that code i have shown you how to set up how to create aws app runner service in aws cloud I have shown you how to run that API, what all configuration we required to run our project into app runner service. And then we have tested the endpoints. We have tested two endpoints. One is default endpoints and one with hello world endpoint. We got a response successfully. That means our API were working fine. APIs were working fine. And then at the end, we stop all the resources, all the services so that we can do a complete cleanup of the resources that we have blocked so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel so do subscribe to my channel to grow code one digest family and if you follow me if you code along with me then you will be able to do that in 10 minutes i request you just don't watch my videos just follow these steps along with my videos so that you will be able to deploy and run the application on the same way right unless until you try it yourself you will not be able to learn so to learn these services you have to follow me and try things along this video okay friends i hope you like this video if yes then do like share and subscribe this channel share this video with all your friends and colleagues so that they will also learn this okay see you in the next video thank you friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.